Hi guys and welcome to another Divi video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well we've got a little hover effect for you today. We've got these icons here when you hover over them. They're going to turn into a text box with title and text. That's a nice little feature to have on your site. Really easy to do. We're not using any extra coding into this today. Well, actually we are. We're using one little line of CSS and as usual, I'll put that below the video for anybody that wants to use it. Don't let that put you off. It's very easy. So let's get started. First thing I'm gonna do is enable the Visual Builder. And let's go down to where we wanna work. And I've got a section, the blue tab, with a column, with a row inside with three columns. Obviously you can do this however you want. I'm just explaining what I've got going on here. And let's delete one of these little blurb modules I've got here. I'm going to hit the little button to add a new module. DV comes as standard with all these light grey modules here and there's plenty of them to build just about any site. I'm just going to use a blurb module for this today because it's got my little icon that I like to use there. Okay, we've got our title here and with our content here and it puts in a default image. I want to use an icon today. So image and icon down below, hit the little use icon switch there if you want to use an icon. Choose whatever icon you want to put in there. That's fine. Okay down below in the link obviously you can link this whole module somewhere if you want to or just the title if you want to put your links in here if you want to link it to somewhere as usual best practice if you're linking to your own site leave it in the same window if you're linking off site put it in a new tab so your site stays open okay great well I want to give it a background color and this background color is going to be here basically just when we hover over it so common to most Divi modules, if you hover over the dark writing here, you'll see some little icons appear. If there's an arrow, we can set a hover state and a desktop state. Hover obviously is when your mouse is on it. Desktop is when your mouse is not on it. So when our mouse is not on it, we just want to see the icon with no background. So we can leave no background in there when we hover over it, I'm going to put in a background that we can sort of see our writing on. So let's start with a blue. Don't want it quite that sort of blue. Let's grab a sort of lighty bluey, something like that. That's fine. I'm just going to copy this color because I'll use the same color for the icon. Okay, so we've got no background on hover. And background color on the hover. Let's just pop over to our design here. I want to give that icon, image and icon, we're on the design tab. I'll make that icon the color that we want it. So I'm going to click on that and just paste in that color we used there. It'll disappear into the background because it's the same color. And while we're here, I'm just going to line my text in the middle. So I'm going down to text, still on the design tab. And I'm going to align it in the middle. Great. Okay, let's go back to our content now and organize it the way we want it. So let's have a look. I'm in the text module and the content here. I don't want to see any title at all at first. I only want to see that when we hover on it. So what I'm going to do, hit the little arrow again, roll up like we did before over the dark writing, hit the little arrow. Desktop, don't want anything there at all. So I'm going to cut that, control X and put it in the hover state. I'm clicking on the hover now. I'll put it in the hover state. And it's exactly the same for the body text. I don't want to see any body text until we hover over it. So again, I'll roll up over the dark writing, get the hover state up, desktop. I'm going to cut this, control X. And as you can see, all we can see now is the icon. Hover state, I want it to be there. Great. Okay, so when we're not hovering, all we're going to see now is the icon. When we are hovering, all we're going to see is the title and the content. Our little icon's a little too high up there. 
So let's go to our design. We're on desktop state, remember. We'll go down to spacing. And again, I'm going to roll over, hit the little arrow. For desktop, I want a bit of spacing, say 100 pics. Obviously, adjust yours to what's going to work for you. So it's sort of more in the middle of our row. And when we're not hovering on it, I'm going to say give it 50 pics or something like that. Now, a couple of things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a fixed height, a little square here. And I'm going to say give it 300 pics, which should do it fine. Then I'm going to give it a little space left and right. And I'm going to pull up the hover state. So this is more in the middle here because the icon is actually there. We just can't see it because it's transparent. And I want this to be up in the middle. So on desktop state, I want a little bit left and right as well. So you give it 30 picks just so it's got some breathing room. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. That's fine. Okay, now I'm going to shut up spacing. I'm going to go into sizing. I'm going to give it a fixed height right here of 300 picks. You don't have to do this, but if you've got different amounts of content in there, it'll make them all the same height for you. So I'm giving it 300 picks. As you can see, our content spilled out the bottom there. So let's go to our advanced, and this is where our little bit of custom CSS comes in. I'm going to go to custom CSS. I'm going to go down to blurb content. And again, I'm going to hover over the dark writing, hit the little arrow. With desktop state, it's absolutely fine where it is. But hover state, I want to pull that content up by at least 100 picks. So I'm going to say margin top negative 100 picks and that's brought it up there don't worry about that icon appearing at the top when we hover over it's not going to be there so actually let's drag that up just a little bit more 120 picks let's say there we go so we're going to have that on desktop and this on hover now I want to make sure that my icons got a see-through color on hover there so we don't see it that's absolutely great now the time it takes to go from desktop to hover by default is 300 mils for me that's a little bit quick I'm gonna slow it down for a bit of drama to slow it down still in the advanced tab let's close up our custom CSS and that little line that I just wrote let's put a semicolon on after that I'll put down below the video if anybody needs to use it okay for the timing, we just need to go down to transitions. There's the default 300 mils. Let's drag that up to, I don't know, 6 or 750, whatever you want to. Don't want any delay. And the speed curve I'm going to use is ease in and ease out. So I just want to go back into my icon design, image and icon. Make sure icon color, when we hit the little arrow, desktop state, that's fine. Hover state, I want to make sure that it's transparent so we can't see it like that fantastic and I'm just going to do similar for the title and the content when it rolls in so we'll close that image and icon we've got title text here title text color on desktop well we've got no, nothing there it's transparent let's make sure that's transparent and on hover we'll make it a dark color perhaps not black something like that 49 49 49 let's just copy that and we'll do the same for the text as well that way it'll it'll sort of translate in at a similar speed as it fades into its color there so we'll go down to body text and I'm gonna do exactly the same thing I know it's not even there when we're on the regular state but if we make it transparent and then when we hover on it, make it the color we want. The transition time will be similar. There we go. Okay, and let's perhaps give it some slightly rounded corners when we're hovering on it too. So go down to border. And again, I only want it when we hover on it. Let's give it say 10 picks. There we go. So there's what we had. 
and that's how it is going to be initially okay well let's save our changes and make sure this is all going to work for us save draft or publish if you're ready and let's exit the visual builder and roll on down to where we were working there's our little icons when we roll over them it's going to pop up into our little box like that and that's a nice little effect if people are mousing around your site and something like that happens it's going to get their attention pretty quickly and it's a nice way to introduce a bit of information into your site and have a bit of interaction and as you can see very easy to do no coding or very little coding involved today so i hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our youtube channel once again this has been jamie with system 22 and webdesignandtechtips.com thanks for watching have a great day